The web key, WPA key, and the WPA2 key represent passwords used over time to gain access to wireless networks. At the core of any Wi-Fi home network is an access point or router that requires access. Passwords that come with your router are well known to hackers because they are very easy to remember, and the manufacturers keep using the same ones over and over. Software also is available online to easily crack or hack a web keys. Remember, when you put into service a new device that requires a password, change the factory settings immediately. Just remember, no password, no security. Uh, when there's a free wireless and there's no password is required and you're opening your computer, tablet, or phone, to, uh, you're opening it up to anyone that's on that particular network. This, this can happen in various places such as Panera Bread, McDonald's, Starbucks, or even at your own home network when you don't have a password uh, necessary in order to gain access to your wireless network system. Just remember, no password, you have no security. As I've said before, there are three different types of network wireless security. WEP, which is very poor, WPA, which is, say, average, and WPA2, which is the best. Let's take a look at the differences between WEP versus the WPA and the WPA2. WEP means a wired equivalent privacy. It was the first type of security code that was necessary to gain access to a local area network. Uh, the passwords are assigned using 16 or 32-bit uh, hexadecimal numbering system. The problem with WEP is that it's easily hacked and that there's also software online available to help people hack into their own systems. Next is the WPA. The WPA means uh, Wireless Protocol Application. It was established to eliminate these security issues. WPA is a set of mainly five different security protocols for connecting computers, laptops, tablets, cell phones, and other radio devices to the Internet. The protocol suite provides connectivity for the WPA devices and software. WPA is not easily compromised as WEP, as a web system. Okay, but since, the, since then, WPA2 has replaced WPA, and WPA2 requires testing, and certification by the Wi-Fi Alliance, implementing the required elements of Wi-Fi. Specifically, uh, in addition to what WPA has, that includes uh, CCMP, which means Counter Cipher Mode Protocol, and also AES, which is Advanced Encryption Standard uh, Mode. WPA2 certification is mandatory for all devices that bear the Wi-Fi trademark. So I would look for uh, products that bear the Wi-Fi trademark. Just remember, when you purchase a new router, passwords are often included and preset when you purchase the router. Remember to make sure that the router security is set on WPA2 and to change the passwords to create your own. Then keep the password somewhere that you can easily find when you have a friend or you are in need to access that router through that particular password. 